Okay, so we're going to use the graph here to find the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. And I know that from this form the equation, this is going to tell me my vertex. It goes opposite, positive 1, and down 4. There's my vertex. But to find my x-intercept, well, that's this coordinate point here. One x-intercept is negative 1, comma, 0. And the other x-intercept is 3, comma, 0. And my y-intercept down here, my y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 3. Okay, that's A part done. B part now says, show algebraic that your answers are correct. Well, so if I want to find my x-intercepts, what I always do is I force the equation to make y 0. And so I get 0 is equal to x minus 1 squared minus 4. Now there's two ways to do this. I could expand this out and then subtract 4, simplify, and then factor. Or I could also do this. I could add 4 to both sides, x minus 1 squared. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to take the square root. I take the square root of both sides. Now when I take the square root of both sides, it's plus or minus the square root. And so I know this then becomes square root and square cancel. So this is x minus 1 equals 2. The square root of 4 is 2, so plus or minus 2. Add 1, so 1 plus or minus 2 is equal to x. And so now this is two things. x could be 1 plus 2, which is 3. And x could be 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. And that there are my two x-intercepts. So I get the coordinate 3, 0, because I said y was 0, x is 3, or negative 1, 0. For my y-intercept, I do something similar, except I force x to be 0, because x is always 0 for y-intercepts. And so if I plug 0 minus 1 squared minus 4, I get 1 minus 4 equals 3, and so I get 0, comma, 3 as my y-intercept, which was here indeed. Okay, doing this example, I'm asked to find the x-intercepts graphically. Well, here is negative 9, comma, 0, and here is 2, comma, 0, and my y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 18. To show it algebraically, to find my x-intercepts, I always set y equal to 0. And so 0 is equal to x squared plus 7x minus 18. In order to solve this, I could use quadratic formula, which will always work. But I'm going to try and use factor it first and see if that works. If it does, then it's easier than quadratic formula. And if I do this, multiplies, get negative 18, adds to 7, will be plus 9, and x is minus 2, is 0. So they multiply to get negative 18, they add to get positive 7, and then I know x plus 9 is 0, and x minus 2 is 0. So x equals negative 9, or x equals 2, and so the negative 9 comma 0 is my one intercept, and 2 comma 0 is my other intercept because my y is 0 and my x are these values here and that makes perfect sense for up here. Now for my y-intercept I let x equal 0 and so I y is equal to 0 squared plus 7 times 0 minus 18 which is negative 18 and so I have the 0 is x, negative 18 is y, and that is my y-intercept.